Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Gray, who wanted a Rick Dias round in their brother's uh, personal colors of muted tones with pink highlights. And that is what we've got. I went with the brightest pink I could get, and some nice subdued blues. I, I hope this uh, works for you, Gray. I think it looks pretty good, so we're going to go with it. Rick Dias is still pretty good. This is the level 1. I have not yet dropped the level 2. Uh, it is, of course, a 500-pointer. It ha is the first thing to have double counter tackle, which you're not going to see me make a lot of use of here, but it does have it. And it has a really good arsenal of uh, weapons, including its uh, clay bazooka, its uh, uh, Vulcan phalanx, and its beam pistols. Also birdlime, which I usually forget is there. But it also, as you, you will see, can put a big dent in a Mark II very quickly, which is nice. Because that is some that is a uh, that is a good skill to have at the 500 to 550 range. I think this is a 550 room, but don't quote me. Probably looking at our team layout, more likely to be just a straight 500. Yep, 500. Okay. I've been doing a lot of 500 things in 550 rooms because 550 rooms turn up more often. That's just how it works. That's an R Jarja. That's the thing I have type advantage against. Managed to tag it with my beam saber. And now I'm just throwing beam pistol shots, throwing some Vulcan shots. That Marasai is nearly dead, and all of my weapons are over, are uh, reloading, so not a thing I could do about it until now. I've kind of gotten fixated on that. I should probably be pursuing the Jarjo, which got away. But uh, I do not, unfortunately, have Jarjo on my mind, so it's going to... Oh, there it is, over there, so... But when I noticed how much damage I could do to Mark II, uh, Mark II's, and when I... Uh, uh, we all know how tough Mark II's are in these rooms, so yeah, that's I decided if I saw a Mark II, I was going to go for it, because yeah, 3,000 damage against a Mark II with a single shot, not a, uh, not a bad thing at all. Probably ballistic damage is a good thing to be using against those. I was particularly happy with that falling kill there, where I managed to just get it into the line of my beam pistols as I went. And another kill on this pixie. So yeah, doing pretty well. 500 point pixie that had to be the level 4 and I think that's that's the Marasai again which is using the rifle eventually I'm going to get around with that rifle because I finally got it and got that used my tackle was not enough to kill something will kill it possibly not me nope okay yeah I did get it just barely I am now totally surrounded and almost out of feet so this is probably the moment of my death I can't complain too much though just because it's going fairly well so far yeah I'm dead Yep, I think I tackled it, but that's about all I could do with uh, what I had left and where I was. Again, we're doing fairly well, and I've gotten a decent number of kills already. This is an ace match, so I am hoping to be the ace, obviously. Uh, 5600 to 3300, good solid start. And we've got uh, two points to their three, that's not a bad outcome. Uh, like I said, you can win these rounds without taking, without taking E. You just have to adjust what you're doing and hope they will come after you. Because it can be a little harder if they decide to keep the hill. But, got the Jarja. But they did not decide to keep the hill, so that gives us an opportunity. Used my uh, forced injectors to get out of the way there. Uh, tagged the Mark II as it went by. You can see that downswing didn't do a lot. It, of course, does have combo controller, and there's just, you know, free lunch, basically. Somebody else got it, but I helped, uh, did a little damage. But yeah, combo controller, of course, reduces melee damage on subsequent swings. So you can, uh, your second attack does less, so I think the Mark II has decent melee defense to begin with, so yeah, it did not do a lot. I think it said 800? Not very much at all. But we have got about double the enemy team's score now, which is a good trick when you can do it. That's that Marasai. Hit the, hit the le uh, ledge below it, so not what I meant to do, obviously. But I've got mostly full health, we've got 45 seconds until the ace hits, and we were in a really good position. We're a little spread out, which is why I keep moving back and forth, just to uh, kind of reinforce what I think of as weak points in the line. I kind of want to stay near that Hyzak Custom, because if the Jarja charges it without any support, that could be a really bad thing. But again, just moving back and forth. Trying to uh, trying to look for, uh, for a good opportunity, trying to bait someone out. Uh, Bazooka doesn't have quite the range, and I realized it was almost ace time, so it was a good time to reload, because they're not coming after us. And that's when they started coming after us. 
But I do have my backup weapons, so I can move over there. I'm just waiting to see who the ace is, because that'll give me a good idea of what I should be doing and, and when. I'm the ace, and there's the enemy ace, so that gives me a perfect idea of what I should be doing, which is using Vulcans on that guy. Anybody can make that kill and get the extra points, so I should do damage where I can, and then just go after the uh, most convenient enemy, which is what I am doing. Big swing, and bazooka, and got the kill. I, was, I thought I was going to follow up with the tackle, that's why I kind of hesitated there. It's like, what? No tackle? No, did not do the old Dom combo. I uh, had time for my weapon to uh, charge and took it. Took the shot, didn't work, out of legs. Gonna try and get that kill before I am killed. Got it. So, that's two good ace kills. As frequently happens, I have probably done the most of the work I'm gonna do before the ace, uh, before I was declared ace. But I've at least earned us another, like, 3,000 points since. Uh, took the super high uh, shot with uh, the bird lime in the hopes but did not connect, and now I'm going to make a mistake, which is expose myself, get out from behind my team, try to get over to where I can repair better, but this Mark II is just right on me as it should be. It is doing its job very well, and that was just, just sheer unvarnished mistake on my part. I should have either tried, uh, tried repairing right where I was, though I was out in the open there too, so it wouldn't have helped much, or just crouched and got what shots I could before I died. And we're not doing badly. We're not gonna. We're not going to uh, lose for that. And that little weird whimpering noise is me stopping myself from saying as it is the way I do every three seconds. But yeah, we're doing okay. They've gotten a couple more kills. That Jarja has made up some uh, distance for them, but we got it. So we are again still in a good position. Pixie seems to have just given up. It may have stopped to repair its legs in the middle of everything, which, you know, sometimes as a desperation move, you do it. You do what you do. You try to do what you can. At this point, we are so far ahead, the rest of my team just starts taking kills where it can get them, and I cannot blame them. It does. It is not contingent on my getting the kills for us to win at all at this point. But I've done a pretty solid job. I've made a couple mistakes, obviously, but yeah. Did fairly well, and with only 30-some seconds left in the enemy team, pretty well uh, smashed for the moment. I'm just going to go get my health back, because the best thing I can possibly do is uh, uh, for us to win at this point is survive. But they are starting to move in, so I got back up. Had a teammate I should have sent thanks to, because they were sticking around to repair me. But didn't think of it, and thought I'd just go out and try and do more damage. Hit the hit the dune. Dunes are your enemy on this map. Got uh, got blindsided. That's the word. And yeah, they're just they're just hammering me, which is again exactly what they should be doing. What I should not be doing is uh, taking you know taking risks like that. The good news is they killed me after the buzzer. It will not have counted, I don't think. Or maybe it will, but if so, again, I'm not going to lose us the round by any stretch. Okay, yeah, I think it did count, but yeah, I still did 8,200 points of our 1,900 points score. I'd say that's pretty good. And yeah, we we did quite well, and I hope you like the round gray. I do, like I said, I do like these colors for the Rick DS, so I, I hope your brother enjoys it. Ten kills, three deaths, one of which was just sheer foolish recklessness on my part at the end. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So I'm not sure if it's still going to be running by the time I run this video, because I'm working pretty far in advance at this point, and of course if I get the weekly mobile suit it'll be even further. But uh, currently in Fate Grand Order they're rerunning the Fate Zero event that was uh, in running in the game when I first started playing. And that's nice, because one, I'll be able to get the uh, servant they give away for this event, which I was not able to do the first time around. And two, I will, uh, will actually know what the heck is going on, because when I first started playing the game, I had no idea what any of this was. I just started playing because it looked neat.